What is up guys, my name is Ballistic, your favorite gamer and entertainer, and let me just say, it is good to be back. I just got back from one of the longest breaks I, I ever took from YouTube, and today I'm kind of here to just say welcome back, and, uh, and tell you guys what I've been up to, and what I've been working on, and letting you guys know what's the deal. So recently, I've been just working non-stop, and pretty much I've been working for other people, not really focusing on my channel that much. Uh, if you guys have checked it out, the only stuff I've really been uploading are like little goofy machinimas that me and my friends make in Gary's Mod. That, you know, I kind of just had a few laying around and I felt like uploading just to kind of expand my content a little more. Uh, because I have been working with a lot of other people lately and they're, you know, I've been working with Guitar Game Guy and he has his machinima series. And it's, you know, it's freaking awesome. Writing's amazing and uh, just very creative. And I'm a very creative person. So. I've really been trying to figure out my own flow. I've been trying. I've been trying to figure out how I can bring more creative content to the channel. And uh, recently, I've noticed that YouTube is just oversaturated with so many let's plays and so many commentaries that all my stuff is getting pushed to the back. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do to kind of earn my spot. What what is going to make my channel unique? Uh, not that I'm giving up on commentaries and let's plays because I do feel like you know sure. I, I feel like everybody should uh, connect with their audience and talk to them and just uh, bond with them. So, I, I, not that I'm stepping away from that, just trying to, you know, get the creativity out and uh, bring some more interesting content. So, for the past two months, it has been just me emailing people nonstop, uh, writing, uh, you know, just living that business life, I guess you could say. Uh, but for the first month, I was, you know, I, ha I wasn't uploading anything. That was kind of the end of the school year for me. So, for all of you guys who know, in high school, the end of the school year, you have all these finals, these exams, you gotta do all that bullshit you, you have to do but you don't want to. Uh, it, you gotta do all that stuff. So it's really crazy at the end of the school year for me. Uh, you know, high school anyways, you know, on a regular day in high school, it's like one giant episode of Mad Men for me. So at the end of the school year, it's like times eight that. So whatever's crazier than Mad Men. I don't... Sex in the city? I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just trying to get my point across. It, is, it has been very crazy. But uh, I am on summer break now, so I am relaxing. I am hanging with friends and uh, hanging with family, traveling, just uh, having a lot of fun. So... I, you know, I'm a little guilty. I have been having, I've been easing towards the whiskey, as you, as some of you may say, I've been easing towards the whiskey more than the mic. Uh, <laughs> but it's just been insane, it, insane in a good way. Uh, having fun. Uh, school's coming up again, actually. Summer's been going by extremely fast, and uh, feels good. Feels bad. I, I like the the non-stress I like relaxing I um, but then again I do I do like the high school drama I'm not gonna lie uh, it uh, to me when I sit home on a summer day it's kind of boring <laughs> but, and then I go to school and then you know she's sleeping with him and he's sleeping with her so you know it gets kind of interesting it's like it's like a TV show uh, but now that I've kind of caught you guys up and uh, I've told you what I've been up to, it's time to dive into this gameplay. I know I'm about three minutes late, almost four minutes late telling you guys what game this is. But this game is actually called Verdun. It's a World War I first person shooter. Yeah, I know. It's uh, kind of unheard of. You usually see World War II or modern day warfare type of games. Uh, first person shooters, that is. But uh, you, World War I, it's kind of, you know... You've never really heard of a game that's set in World War One, But uh, let me just say, guys, I know first thing that comes to mind when a new first-person shooter comes out is let's compare it to Call of Duty. Let's compare it to Battlefield. And let me just say right now, you can't compare this game to the, to Battlefield and Call of Duty because it's, it's not even close to those two games. So get your mind off that and uh, get your mind on this Verdun stuff because this game is amazing. Um, this game is all about tactics. As you can imagine, it's World War One, so it's pretty much all trench for trench warfare. Meaning, if you're in the trenches and the other guys are charging at you, you probably shouldn't step out of the trench because you're gonna get your ass shot. And I have done that many times uh, while playing this game, and maybe you, you might see some in this gameplay where I step out of the trench. Um, 
so pretty much how this game works it's still in beta beta guys so there's only two game modes right now but literally the developers are doing an amazing job getting uh, updates out there and uh, really trying to push for a full release of this game uh, but the two game modes now there's team deathmatch which is a no-brainer team deathmatch kill the other team um, and then there's front lines front lines how that works is one team is gonna be in the trench and one team is gonna be attacking trying to get in the trench uh, if the team in the trenches, you know, doing a good job defending, holding uh, the enemy line back, they're going to um, push the enemy back and uh, proceed to the next trench and uh, so on and so forth. And then the other team, if they, you know, dive into the trench and take over the trench, the team that was already in the trench has to fall back to their other trench. So it's, it is trench warfare. It's kind of like uh, the, do not really a domino effect, but... Uh, just uh, falling back defending attacking you know all that stuff but the reason why you can't compare this game to battlefield and call of duty is because uh, it is it is all t it is team based and i know a lot of people say battlefield is team based but still over the years it has eased towards that call of duty style uh, game so if you want to play a game that all the players are on top of their game and you know communicating this is it guys this is a great game for that uh, this is also a sniping game believe it or not because it is trench warfare and it is World War one uh, all the guns are pretty much bolt action uh, you do get some machine guns you depending on your class you know you get uh, you know mortar strikes and stuff like that but most of the guns are bolt action and it you know you're, you're doing a lot of sniping and uh, shooting from afar so if you like sniping this is also for you I feel like I'm doing a sales pitch right now. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you want to buy this game, it's on Steam right now. Links down below. All that good stuff. I'm going to be back real soon with machinimas and, you know, let's plays and commentaries. All that good stuff. I'm going to try to expand the, the content archive a little more, if you know what I mean. But anyways, guys, my name is Ballistic, your favorite gamer and entertainer. And I will see you guys next time.